10 years ago to be trans was a, what, a mental illness. And now all of a sudden people like you have weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you. Yeah, I'd say that's some pretty instant regret. Uh, this woke reporter thought that they were setting a trap for Sean Strickland, who absolutely tore him to shreds in perhaps the most glorious way possible. If you're new to the channel, please leave a like on this video. And if you haven't yet and you do end up enjoying the video, and if I earn it, please do consider subscribing or following down below. It's uh, very difficult to reach people and it's only gonna get more difficult in 2024. So I hope that you'll join me. Now there was a, there's a UFC event in uh, Canada this weekend and uh, well, some Canadian reporter who uh, thought that they were going to get one over on Sean Strickland uh, immediately regretted it. UFC champ Sean Strickland rips reporter Justin Trudeau in wild rant after a question over past LGBT marks. It's not wild. is 100% justified because this guy thought he was going to get Sean Strickland, this like soy-infused beta male, thought he was going to get Sean Strickland with a gotcha question, and he wasn't having it. UFC middleweight champion Sean Strickland is preparing for his UFC 297 fight against uh, Dreykus Duplessis. I don't know, sorry. Uh, on Saturday night, in the days before the bout, he sparred with a reporter over comments he made a few years ago. The event is set to take place at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, and the reporter brought up comments Strickland made about having a gay son. The reporter mentioned how he was an ally. By the way, shout out to my gay viewers. I appreciate you. Um, but uh, anybody calling themselves an ally is uh, pathetic and lame. I mean, it's just in every conceivable way, uh, <laughs> like it's, it's cringe. Um, so the reporter mentioned how he was an ally of the community and that Toronto is a large gay and lesbian community. <laughs> Self-owned Canada. Just kidding. I love you Canadian viewers. Strickland asked the reporter if he was gay and if he had had a son who was gay and whether he wanted a grandkid. The reporter then said, well, I'm not gay and it would not be a problem if he had had a grandson or not. Well, then you're an effing weak man, Strickland said. You're part of the effing problem. You elected Justin Trudeau when he sees the bank accounts like you're just effing pathetic. The fact that you have no effing backbone and he shut down your effing country, sees bank accounts, and you ask me some stupid ish like that, go F yourself, move the F on, man. I mean, normally I would play a clip, uh, but it's just like, it would just be one long bleep. And it, it, it was, you know... It, it was like a, it was at that, that it was at that moment he knew he had effed up. The reporter moved on from Strickland's rant and mentioned how the fighter was going to use his time to speak about Bud Light and the trans community after the company partnered with trans activist Dylan Mulvaney for a marketing campaign which yielded disastrous results. UFC, however, re-upped its partnership with Bud Light following the backlash, and UFC President Dana White explained in October that Anheuser Busch and Bud Light were their original beer sponsors more than 15 years ago. And he, Sean himself posted the video to uh, more than, I think, probably 100,000 likes by now. Let's see. Uh, 73,000 likes. He says, I don't know who this guy is, and I don't care, but you're not a man. But you'd probably take that as a compliment. I mean, this is how we have to treat people now. We gave them an inch. They took the whole planet. Time to right the ship. 100% agree. He re then he replies to the question, here's the thing about Bud Light. 10 years ago, to be trans was a mental effing illness, Strickland said. And now all of a sudden, people like you effing weaseled your way into the world. You're an infection. You're the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of effing you. And the best thing is, the world's not buying your effing BS. You're effing peddling. Well, they certainly were up until this part, until recently. The world is not saying you know what's right. You're right. Chicks do have dongs. The world's not saying that. The world is saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught 
uh, who they could hook up with in school. I don't want my kids being taught about their uh, bedroom preferences. This guy is a effing enemy. Now, the seizing of the bank accounts, of course, talking about the Freedom Convoy people and the, and the draconian lockdown policies that existed in Canada. Certainly, it did exist in, you know, at some places in the United States, um, but, you know, not nowhere near as, as bad as it was for Sean Strickland. I, I, I guess I, I'd like to play a little bit of it, but, you know, I, I'll, maybe I'll save it to more towards the end of the video because, you know, uh, you know, that way, if you don't want to hear the, the no, no words and you don't have to, uh, but, you know, just see everybody in here. Don't ever let them censor you. I'm an ally of the community, community crying laughing emoji for 5,000. You're an infection, 5,000. Protect Sean Strickland at all costs. This dude is a real one. I mean, yeah, I, I guess nuance, bro. Keep, please keep doing this, Sean. This was awesome. And the world needs to, need to hear more of it. I mean, just Sean's post alone was seen by 8.7 million people. Now, I don't know how many people watch the video, but I suspect couple hundred thousand you know five six seven hundred thousand just on his post his post probably was seen by tens of millions of people including you know little timmy pool covered it this morning i'll cover it and, and by the way he's wearing a shirt that says a woman in every kitchen and a gun in every hand i mean like i mean it does lead to a polite society of course the left is melting down you see ufc star sean strickland lunches in a homophobic rant in a press conference interview. Look, that guy was asking for it. That guy was asking for it. I mean, Happy Punch posted it and got 40,000 likes. It, it, it's so wild that this guy thought he could, you know, basically trap Sean Strickland with this crap. It, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting time uh, when, you know, people now are not afraid to speak their minds. And I am still, and I know that this may disappoint some people, but... I'm definitely still like a, a live and let live guy. It's just somewhere along the way, you know, it's no, it's never become that. It's been, I'm going to live my life the way I want. And then you're going to change your life to accommodate mine. And when that line got crossed, a lot of people like me who were like live and let live um, kind of became a lot less live and let live. Obviously, Sean Strickland, a lot of these UFC guys, uh, you know, they have a, a sport that is, that, you know, it's, it's like I'm not even a UFC guy. You know, I know I have friends that like watch, watch the fights. You know, I'll watch them with them. I'm not going to pay whatever it is, $200 to watch them. Uh, but if someone wants to buy it or, you know, if it's streaming somewhere or whatever, I, I'm down to watch it. I support it because at least Dana White, even if you could say he cucked a Bud Light, which he did, um, you know, at least he lets his fighters say whatever they want. And if, if this was an NFL player, he'd be bounced out of the league. If this was an NBA player, he'd be bounced out of the league. If this was a NASCAR driver, for crying out loud, like of all the things, all the sports on the planet, NASCAR is still has gotten woke. Um, UFC is the only sport where guys can say whatever they want and Dana White doesn't get involved. He lets them, and that's cool. You know, he certainly could have... Some sort of, you know, I, I wonder why none of these guys are soy infused beta male allies. You know, I wonder, I wonder, you know, and I think like, again, they're misrepresenting and saying Sean Strickland thinks being trans is an infection. That's not true. He said that the reporter was an infection, not being trans. He, I mean, like they can't even honestly report on it. Some of this stuff was, I mean, just incredible. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, a bringing up an old quote, by the way, if I had a gay son. I would think. I've oh, look, another, another, these, I'm saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star. And, and someone's, let me you ask you model. something. Are you, have, are you, are, are you gay? No, are you, are you, let me know. Are you gay? Can I hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking. I'm, this is a part of the, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. <laughs> I'm an ally of the community. No, you're not. You're just trying to get a sound bite. You're trying to make a name for yourself about coming in there and totally pwning uh, a UFC fighter because that's the only way you're going to do that. I mean, you see him on the street. I guarantee you don't ask him that question. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay. You'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. 
Oh man, well, dude, you're a weak fucking man. <laughs> you're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, would you fucking when he sees the bank accounts, like you're just fucking pathetic. I mean, he's not wrong. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking bullshit. You're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Fucking chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. <laughs> I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they can <laughs> fuck in school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is the fucking enemy. Uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there. So he says nothing about, like, he's not going after anybody in the, for example, trans community. Instead of reporting on the wild infringement on Canadian citizens' rights, he's worried about a tweet or something like that that Sean Strickland wrote, uh, you know, a month ago. Or, year, I'm sorry, years ago. He's worried that he won't support Bud Light. Now, will Sean Strickland... If he wins his fight and he gets his mic time, will he blast Bud Light? I, d I don't know. I mean, Dana's not going to like that. Um, it's going to test Dana. Uh, it's going to test Dana's appetite for allowing his, his fighters to say whatever it is that they want to say. I certainly hope he does because I, I assume, like, I don't know. I, I've always heard that UFC fighters don't make that much money unless you're, like, at the top of the top of the top. So I, I'm not totally sure. Um, but I certainly hope if he wins, he has enough money to say, all right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to say it. And uh, it, it would be absolutely incredible. I know I'm going to be tuned in on Saturday to see. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a stream somewhere where I can watch it, or maybe I'll go to Buffalo Wild Wings or a bar. Some some bar will have it on. Just to hope he wins. I hope he wins now because I really want to hear what he has to say if he has anything to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.